All right, so we're working on part four of the game controls. You want to make sure you have it opened up. Part four, we're going to be adding in a bad guy, sound for the bad guy, and then a restart button for the score. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to add in an image sprite, so drawing an animation. Let's drop that image sprite on there. We're going to rename the image sprite bad guy. Let's upload a picture for the bad guy. So we'll go to My Computer 506, App Inventor folder, Game Controls. We've got some different ones in here. I'll just pick one of them. These are 40 by 40 pixel pictures, so feel free to change it up if you want. We need a clock for our bad guy. So let's add in a user face. Let's add in a clock. And let's rename our clock bad guy clock. Alright, so let's rename this bad guy clock. Okay. And we'll set up the timer interval to 2,000, or yeah, 2,000 milliseconds, which will be two seconds. So every two seconds we're going to set the bad guy up to move. And we are also going to put in a sound. So let's go to media drop a sound in there, rename this bad guy sound and then you want to upload a sound so under source click on upload file, choose file and then we'll go to 506 app inventor game controls folder and then sound and I'm just gonna grab the scream here any sound is fine as long as it works And then we need to add in a reset button. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's grab a button. I'm going to drop it up here at the top. Rename it reset button. And then for the text, over under your properties, you are going to change the text to reset. And if you want to mess with the font size, we can change that. We can also change the text color down here. All right, so once we have the components set up, we're ready to go to our blocks. First thing we're going to do is set up our bad guy so that it moves. And it'll look very similar to this here. So we want to get the bad guy clock. and we want to select when the bad guy clock timer goes off do this and we've set it up to do it every two seconds so we're gonna to go to the bad guy because we want the bad guy to move when the clock goes off and we'll go to the button bad guy move to so call bad guy move to and we'll set up the X and the Y location and we're gonna use the same these same blocks here. So I'm just going to do control C and then control V. Same with this one, control C, control V. And I'm going to use a slider. Make sure that you put the one with the height into the X and the Y. I'm sorry, I got those backwards. X is the width, Y is the height. There we go. All right, so our bad guy is set up. You could open your emulator right now and check it. I'm not going to do that. We need to set up when the bad guy is collided with to do these things. So we are going to do that. So go to bad guy here. You want to select when bad guy is collided with. And we're going to copy these. So control C, control V. And we are going to change it now. When the bad guy collides um, with the good guy, we want it to take away one. So we're going to put a negative one here. We want the score to update, so we'll copy this block. Control C, Control V. And we will go to the bad guy sound here and call the bad guy sound 
to be played. All right. And let's set up our reset button. So under reset button, when the reset button is clicked, we want the score to reset. So we're going to set the global score to zero. So I am going to get this block, copy and paste, and I'm going to take this off. And I'm going to change this value to zero here and get rid of this. So we're going to reset it and set it to zero. And I also want the score to update. So I'm going to do control C, control V. And I'm going to pause it and open it up and test it out here. We're not done yet. All right, so I have my emulator up. I can use my controls to get the money. It scores. I hear the score sound. When I get hit, you hear the scream. Uh, there is one problem, though. If the uh, bad guy runs into the reward, it will also um, change your score unintendedly. So um, I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. All right, so to fix that problem, we have to get an if-then button. So you're going to go under control, grab an if-then block. And what we'll do, under the if statement, we want to go to our bad guy. And you'll go to where it's purple, the purple blocks are. And you're going to get this block. It says call bad guy collide with other. And in this other socket, you can specifically name the image sprite that you want it to collide with. So we want it to collide when the bad guy collides with the good guy, that it should do this. So we'll go to the good guy. And at the very bottom, you're going to scroll down. Very bottom, you'll have a socket or a block that'll go in there that says good guy. So now we have it so that if the bad guy collides with the good guy, then this stuff will happen. And we'll click OK there, and we'll line these up. Let's see network connection error, so I'll refresh. And basically, once you have that in, it will work. It looks like I just had a connection error. But go ahead and try it out. And um, you can do that same thing on your blocks. You want to do the same thing for the reward. So that, and we'll just go ahead and do it. All right, so under control, we'll do our if then. And we want the reward to only be able to collide with the good guy. So the reward, call the reward colliding with other. The other will be, I'll just put this down here, the other being the good guy. Okay, so now only the reward colliding with the good guy will add one to the score. So that will fix that and you are done now with part four.